So Adam High says ductwork in the crawl space is prone to sweating in an area with a naturally naturally high dew point temperature. Yup. Yet the homeowner always blames the ductwork as a problem. So what is Adam talking about? Adam's talking about the fact that ductwork has cold air moving through it. And even though ductwork is insulated, maybe R4, R6, R8, even R10 sometimes, if you're, I don't know, I never run R10, but I've heard it exists. So I'm just going to throw it in there. But no matter how much insulation you have, you're not going to overcome some sort of heat transfer. It inhibits heat transfer, but it doesn't stop heat transfer. We still have heat loss and gain, even though there's insulation in the walls. So once you reach a great enough separation as far as temperature and you have a high enough dew point, like he's talking about in the crawl space, the dew points can run higher because you can have moisture exposure in the crawl space that you wouldn't have outside the house or in the attic or something like that. So when that dew point climbs up, it's going to reach that number on the outside of that ductwork and it's going to start to condense. The job I just did has a moist crawl space and the ductwork was condensing. Now that's also partially because we had to use R6, R6 flex because no R8 was available. And temporarily the governor of North Carolina allows us to use R6 and even R4. I can't imagine what the R4 would have looked like. You can use that because there's supply chain issues with getting R8 ductwork. But when you put that in the crawl space, any lower R value, you're going to be more prone to that sweating. But, you know, no matter what R value you have, you're going to have sweating at a certain point anyway. It's just unavoidable. And yet a homeowner's like, why is this sweating for? Why is this sweating for? I was like, man, you just encapsulate this thing, throw a humidifier down there. I'll do it for you. It'll cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, sweat's not that bad. All of a sudden, it's fine again. All right, great. It's fine again. Super duper. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist. If you want to see a new video you might not have ever seen before, check out this one right down here. And if you want to find out more about the sponsors that make this show possible, you can click on this box right here. And of course, if you aren't subscribed, please click here to do so.